Active listening is part of emotional and social intelligence, or EQ and SQ, and it's an incredibly important skill that you can learn right now to become more well-liked within your peer group as well as your professional social network. Let's get into it. So what's active listening? Well, I would probably put it in with the third step in emotional intelligence, which is empathy. So you're going to be working on your empathy with others, and active listening is really listening to understand what the other person is saying. So you are going to be actually trying to listen to understand what they're saying instead of getting all frustrated and up in your head about something that you want to say. So, oh, I got this thing I want to say. And, you know, engineer here. We engineers are typically not in the same room as emotional and social intelligence. So the bar is super low when you're an engineer when it comes to these things. So you can start really outshining your peers with emotional and social intelligence by just paying a little bit of attention. It really isn't that hard. So active listening is a great first step for you to do. It'll be a great way for you to see how far you need to go with emotional intelligence. If you find yourself interrupting people to get your point across instead of letting them have the space it takes for them to get their point across, that shows that you are not active listening. Watching a typical engineer conversation is like watching two monologues that happen to be in the same room. They have no intentions of listening to the other party most of the time. They really just want to get their point across. And by across, I mean just say their point, and then the other person is going to say their point. And there's usually not much collaboration or active listening going on. That's not what I want for you and not what I want to get across here. I want you to start actively listening to the other person. So you almost can finish their sentence. I'm not trying to say you should finish their sentence, because that would be stepping on the other person. See, now we're getting into social awareness. So you don't want to be stepping on the other person in the conversation. You want to be listening to understand it. I'm starting to catch myself, even just yesterday, I caught myself really having some thought that I really wanted to bring up. I was really engaged. I was trying to listen to someone, really wanted to listen and understand what they were saying. And this thing that I was super excited about, I let it go because I wanted to understand what the other person was saying to the point where this thing, if it's important, it'll come back. And that's the kind of confidence that you need to have in yourself when it comes to active listening. So you need to be okay with letting things kind of fall, not through the cracks, but let that thing go. And if it's important, it'll come back. And you need to trust yourself that you'll come up with it again. And that'll give you the mental bandwidth to really, really, really pay attention to what the other person is saying. And in really paying attention to what the other person is saying, you can really get a deeper relationship with them much faster. When they feel heard, they will feel more supported by you. And especially if this is a romantic relationship, this cannot be understated. This is an incredibly important skill, and it's going to help you understand your partner much, much better. The easiest way for you to start caring about active listening is to be genuinely curious about the person you're talking to. So you can be asking them something about their technical knowledge, something about what they think about some certain thing that happened or something that's happening in person where you're currently sitting or standing. Just be genuinely curious all the time. I am fortunate enough that I cultivate curiosity in really every aspect of my life. So it's very easy for me to be interested in other people. If you're not interested in other people, why not? I always want to grow my network so I can be more productive at work and get you know bigger raises and faster promotions than I'm supposed to. That's kind of what drives me to care about emotional and social intelligence, along with just being a more well-rounded person. What drives you to go to work every day or converse with those around you? Are you actively listening with people or are you just coasting? Just kind of want to get your point across and don't really care about the other person. They just happen to be who you're talking at right now. When you start having some more awareness to this and these topics that I talk about on this channel about emotional and social intelligence, you will find that a lot of people around you probably are not active listening. They probably aren't. And once you start having the awareness to this, it's super fascinating to me because you'll see that, wow, so when Nelson says a lot of people don't care about these things, he's right. Most people lack the emotional and social awareness to really see what's going on and don't care to active listen or don't really understand it because this is not something that's taught in school. I really wish it was, but these emotional and social intelligence topics and traits aren't something that is normally brought up in a work environment. That being said, this active listening topic is one of the core things that will help you grow your professional network as you start to better genuinely listen to other people around you and try to become more curious about them and their insights that they are happy to share with you. I, I don't think there's anything to not like there. 
you should keep going on emotional intelligence at this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get into social intelligence, I got a playlist for you right down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you've been doing and getting all the same results you've been getting.